Bubble offers several different tiers of pricing plans for applications built on their platform. The higher the tier, the more access you have to benefits, features, and other platform capabilities. Every new Bubble application is automatically placed on the free plan. Now, you might be wondering, how far can I really get on the free plan? Is it possible to create an entire application without ever upgrading? Well, it should come as no surprise that the free plan is going to be the most limited plan uh, available here. But technically, you could stay on this plan if the application you're building is a small personal project that you don't need to go live with with any other people and your overall usage and data needs are minimal. For example, you could create a private database tool for yourself uh, where you can visualize your data in a more robust way compared to a spreadsheet. You know, you can couple that information with your front end designs and make things interactive. That's absolutely possible on the free plan. You could create a personal utility tool such as a calculator that's custom to your own needs. Um, you do have some access to API capabilities, so you could bring in external data into your app. You can trigger functions in third-party services, such as generating documents, converting files, things like that. Uh, you could also build a you know, private dashboard for yourself to report on all of this information. What you need to remember is that on the free plan, you are limited to 200 database records. So in theory, you could stay on this plan forever if you don't have a, a need to work with a high volume of data and the activity uh, that you'll be processing in the app is relatively low. You know, the reality is, is that this free plan is more meant to serve as a testing ground um, so that you can get your feet wet in the platform, get to know it, you know, learn how it works. And the assumption is that you will upgrade so that you can take advantage of a lot of the features around going live with your application. Um, but the free plan does let you access a, a web view of your application within the development environment. So um, if you're building a personal project where it doesn't really matter that it's bubble branded, um, that you're not technically on a live URL, it's a, you know, a development URL for yourself, then this is an approach that you could take. Real quick, if you're finding this helpful, our fast track course goes vastly more in depth about how to take your app from idea to launch. Founders who are looking for a structured and complete start to finish blueprint find it most helpful. You can take a look at coachingnocodeapps.com slash fast hyphen track to see if it'll be a fit for you too. Now with all of this said, if you're building an application that you plan to scale long-term, one that you would expect to exceed that 200 database limit, uh, one where you need to white label, one where you need more workload units to power it behind the scenes, you should plan on upgrading to a paid plan. Uh, it doesn't need to happen immediately. Uh, the free plan is really meant to serve as your learning environment, your testing grounds. Uh, but once you need more access to these capabilities, right, open up that database limit, be able to uh, take advantage of version control, have more workload behind the scenes to power your app, uh, you know, be able to access more file storage capacity. There's a lot more that's opened up for you once you're on those paid plans. Those capabilities are going to be necessary for an app that needs to scale. But every app is different. What I would suggest is you take things as far as you can to validate what you're trying to do on the free plan first. And then once you start hitting those limits where you're no longer able to test properly and you start, uh, you need to actually go live with users, for example, beta users, whoever they may be, that's a good sign that it's time to upgrade to the first paid plan and move up as needed from there.